Alright, today, due to the recent success of our, our own raised garden bed, a bit cloudy, a bit cloudy today, we've got some broccoli growing here, and we've got heaps and heaps of snow peas, but they're just about done. And look at this one. Yeah, I've already got that one, snow peas. What else have we got in here, Abby? This big broccoli. Yeah, what else have we got? Um, cauliflower. Cauliflower down there somewhere. So what we decided to do today, for a little activity, we moved the swing set, we're going to put a new couple of raised garden beds in this spot, and we're going to grow some strawberries now, because it's the start of spring in Australia. Because it's darker. That's cauliflower down there. Because okay. it's darker than the leaves. Plenty of yummy snow peas. So Callum and I, Callum and I are just putting our raised garden bed together, aren't we Callum? Yeah. So we've just got to jiggle it around a bit. And we'll get... And these are the corners. Yep, they're the corners. Yeah. So it's very easy to assemble. There's Even we can do it. There's still one up mm -hmm. Dad. There's still one up. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh. Alrighty, we're just putting the last little side wall on. It's taking about five minutes in total. Yeah. So you just have to, sometimes it's a bit tricky to get down. You need to, got the hammer there. Callum, mm -hmm. not yet, not yet. So Callum's going to help us with that. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Here's Dad walking down with all the soil that yeah, we're going to so use for the garden the way. bed. Callum, now we'll leave it here and then we're yep. going to fill the garden bed okay. up with that soil. With that. We might put some newspaper in first. Yeah. Just on the ground as a bit of a base. Yeah. And then... Okay, thank you. Yep. Good job, Abby. All right, Abby. Abby, Callum's just getting the dirt ready, topsoil, and Abby's got some newspapers. We're just going to line the base with a bit of newspaper. It holds in the moisture a little bit. It's our mulch. Just chuck it in there. Doesn't have to be perfect, Abs. Chuck it in there. All the junk mail goes in there. Good job, Abby. No, this is old newspaper, Callum. Yeah. All of this is old newspaper. That should be enough. Yeah, we don't have much newspaper. We don't read the paper very often. That's enough. Put it all in. All of it? Yep, why not? We do that for the other garden then. Okay, that's fine. Alright, now we start putting the soil on. Go for it, kids! Good job, Callum. Just with life, all things worth doing, start with one step at a time. In this case, one shovel full at a time. We'll get there, you watch. All right, we're getting there. We've probably a third filled it up with dirt, nice yeah, top soil. And, 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 and we had to be really careful. We saw worms. We saw worms in there, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so we've got to keep on going, guys. Keep on working. We're going to shovel all that through in there, and then from our very own horses, we've got some horse poo, horse manure, we'll chuck that on as well, and then we've got a compost bin over there, just behind the trampoline, a compost bin, so we'll chuck some of that on as well, we'll make it nice and healthy, and give the plants lots of nutrients. Alright guys, keep on going. Alright, next stage, we'll just put horse manure and compost in there, from our compost bin, we're running a bit low of dirt, so we've got some dead plants. We're going to use all that soil, recycle that, and then we should be right to start planting. Yep. Alright, see you in a few minutes. Alright, we thought we'd just give it a little bit of a hose in, just to let it settle down a bit. So, we've filled our little garden bed up with lots of nice topsoil. We used, we recycled lots of dead plants. There's a dead plant. 
And we've got horse manure in there, we've got compost, and there's our snow peas next door. We're going to plant strawberries and what else, Abby? Celery. Okay, that's our plan for this one. And then we'll do, a little, do it all again in a minute, just right here. What do you think, Callum? What do you think? Yep, yeah? okay. He said it all. What did we decide that we're going to plant in we our garden? We decided we're going to plant cucumber. Cucumber. And strawberries. Strawberries. Which we bought specially. Today. We went to the Bunnings to buy strawberries. Strawberries, yep. Yeah. And Callum, what have you got there? Tomatoes, not tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We say tomatoes. Don't we, Buster? Let's Buster go. eats it all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Bandit. And there's Buster. You're a good looking Labrador, aren't you? Buster? Yes, you're a beautiful dog. Good boy. All right, the strawberry seeds are tiny, aren't they, Callum? Mm -hmm. Oops, where are they? There they are. They're tiny. That's what they start off at. Okay, let's pop them in. Pop them in around the edges. That's it. Put your little finger in. Pop them in, Callum. That's it. The tiny little ones. Pop them around here, all the way around. All the way around the edges. Not too close to the edge. So pop them here. There. 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 Come on, Callum. Come on. Come on. It's okay. That's okay. Just pop them in. That's okay, just pop them in. Yep. And there's some more here. Yep. That's just a bit of polystyrene from the bean bag. There you go. There's all the holes done for you. Let's go. Pop them in. Come on, Callum. I'm planning one. Callum. Perfect. Okay, we decided we're going to put all the cucumber mm -hmm. seeds. See there, they're a bit bigger. Yep. We're going to put them in the middle section of our little garden. We'll report back and see how we go. Good job, guys. A few more holes this side. Just pop it in anywhere you want, in the middle, somewhere. That's it. I only have one. Pop it in the middle, somewhere next to Abby's one. That's it. Make a hole. Good boy. Now we water it. Turn the water on. And go for it, Callum. That's it. High up in the air. there at the top. Here's our gum tree that we chopped down. We left it as an environmental tree. It's got a box there. It's got a hollow in it and another box for possums, ringtail possums. We've actually got a beehive up there as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.